Mike, are you ready? Yes. Then go. Gah! I'm not ready. Just kidding. Uh, so my tip is going to show you how to fill any live text with any photo, any pattern, any texture in InDesign. Sounds impossible, but it's not. The key is a little obscure setting in the effects panel called knockout group. So for example, this is a simple layout. I just have one text frame with Atlanta, a skyline photo, and if I look in layers, underneath that I have a giant peach. So say I wanted to put that cliche peach skin texture in the word Atlanta on top of the skyline. Now you might think, okay, I'll convert the type to outlines and then paste it into, you don't have to do that. You can keep the text live. All you gotta do is select the text frame, go to the effects panel and change the blending mode, in this case from normal to multiply. Now multiply makes that white fill disappear because when you multiply with white, it goes away. I'll hold down shift and select the top image, group them. Now I have a new item in the effects panel, right? Called, it's normal right now, but I'm gonna apply knockout group. And it knocks a hole wow. through the skyline photo, right? Pretty cool. So you can see what's going on if I just drag this whole thing over here. It's just like I cut a hole in the shape of the type, but it's not outline type. So I can change the font, I can change the size, I can do whatever I want, and it's live, okay? That's great. That's great. We're not done. We're not done. What do I got, a minute left? Well, I got a... Yeah, yeah, you do. You can use the same concept to do auto-reverse text. So when text appears over another element in your layout, you can have the fill of the text automatically change wherever it overlaps the what? other thing. Possible? No. no. It is possible. So okay. in this case, underneath the photo here, I just have a frame filled with white because I want the type to turn to white when it overlaps the skyline, all right? So again, I'll select the text frame. This, this time, I'll change the blend mode to screen because the text was filled with black. When you apply screen to black, it disappears. Shift click to select the image, group it, knockout group. And now wherever it overlies the image, I see that white fill. That, a little more applause. Holy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Done. There we go. Huh? That was incredible. That was incredible. You're making a mask. That is a, a mask inside of InDesign. And it's live text. Live, a live mask. I love that.